this is a really great kit. It's really fun and easy to build as it teaches you a lot about how the gear functions work and is great for shelf display as well. Hey everybody, Kaiden here, and today I have the LEGO Technic Skid Steer Loader. And this is set number 42116 and is recommended for ages 7 and up. And this kit includes 140 pieces and is a 2 in 1 kit, which means that you can either build the Skid Steer Loader here or you can also build a hot rod. And in today's video, I will be building the Skid Steer Loader. So let's go ahead and check this out. All right, everybody, so here is the Skid Steer Loader. And now this is part of a line called Lego Technic. And if you haven't heard the name Lego Technic before, it's a more sophisticated line of Lego that is definitely geared towards a lot of the older builders out there. As you can see, it's made up of all these rods and tubes, and it comes together and they create really, really awesome kits, just like the Skid Steer Loader over here. And now the background is a nice construction site area. It looks like it's scooping up some dirt, really does fit the theme. And on the back, we have our second option that we can create. As you can see, it's a two in one. We can create a hot rod if you want to. And the instructions for that can be found online. But since we're making the skid steer loader, the instructions will be inside of the box. So let's go ahead and open this up. All right. So inside the box, it looks like we have, well, let's just make sure we got everything out. Oh, no, I was right. There was one more thing in there. So inside of the box, it looks like we have two bag of bricks, a little instructions booklet, as well as our little scooper here, and two free Lego pieces. All right, let's go ahead and open up our bags of bricks. Whoa, that went flying. Okay, there's one bag. And looks like I actually forgot one little piece. That was my bag. All right, and here's our last bag to open up. And this time we can verify that it's empty. And here is all of our pieces here. And I think we're ready to start building, so let's go ahead and start the speed build.
Alright everybody, so I have finished the skid steer loader and I gotta say I had a bunch of fun building the skid steer loader and so let's go ahead and check into closer detail of this creation. Okay, so here is the skid steer loader and I gotta say it was super fun to build and it honestly looks really amazing both as a display piece and as well as for its functions. Now I did have one technical difficulty where I did forget a piece right there where my finger is. It's a little tiny crucial piece to the actual finished product for the functionability. But fortunately I was able to, with a little bit of ease, take out all the pieces and put it back in. Did take me a little bit of time though, but it was overall okay. And that was just on my fault. I wasn't reading the instructions too nicely. And so here's what it looks like. And here's some of the details on it. So on the back, we have two little tail lights here that are nice and red. And I really like it sticks out very nicely. And we also have on the top here, a overhead headlights. And now the cool thing about this is that this can also be used as a safety cage as well. So you can take in and out. So your little Lego character can go in there. Now the only thing about Technic though is that they, I'm not sure if there has been a kit, but I'm pretty sure most of the time their Technic kits aren't fit to size with the actual Lego men. So if you try to put a Lego guy in there, he will not fit in there or pretty much won't sit in there. He could probably stand in there, but it would look very off to scale. And so that's what Technic uh, is usually about. They don't try to make it scale to size of a Lego minifigure. And so I'll go ahead and show you the features. So with this back gear here, as you can see, it adjusts the pitch of the little scooper there. And now a problem that I've seen with this when I try to put it up and down is that sometimes if you try to do it too slowly, it'll bring the whole skid steer loader up just because of how tight the gear is. And then this top one right here is used for bringing it up and down. So we go to the left, it'll steer all the way up. I'll tilt it to the side to show you. And I think it's right about like there. It's almost like a fire truck on how it lifts it up. It's very, very tall. That won't fit all in frame, but you can see how tall that extends to. And of course to put it back down, it works just as fine and it's really cool. I really like it when Lego uses the little gear functions. I really like these types of stuff. These are like my type of thing. I really like to see how the gears work with one another and really into this. And so uh, from I think one of my other previous Lego Technics I have built, um, they have all been um, pretty much almost all of them has been with gears and I really like the gear functions. And so this will be a very, very nice one to add to my Lego collection because I really like these gears. They're very fun to study at and also play with as well. And so it works very fine. Now here's the only thing though that doesn't work too well with functionability is what it's meant to do is to pick up a bunch of different construction materials such as dirt or maybe debris. And now when we try to just, I don't know, roll it alert, excuse me, roll it along and try to pick up these little Lego bricks right here, which are the leftover bricks. As you can see, it just pushes it along because of the lip right here. And I found that if you try to do it at an angle and try to almost push it on there and then adjust the arm itself, it's still a little bit tricky even with help. So one thing that you have to do is you kind of have to tilt it up and what's kind of disappointing is you have to put the uh, actual Lego pieces inside just like that and almost down here there we go and then you can tilt it up and down so that's the only disappointing thing with actual lego bricks is that it's very hard to actually just drive in and scoop it up you have to actually manually put it in there which i'm pretty sure in the construction industry they just don't have giant fingers that can pick up the debris for them so that's one thing to think about now I'm pretty sure by the looks of this, this might do okay with snow and sand, but as far as Lego bricks go, it does not work very well. And so that's the only con about this thing. Other than that, it's really, really fun. And it actually was a very easy Technic kit to build. Um, I really enjoyed building it. And overall, for shelf look, it looks great. I think what really sells it is the, uh, the lights and as well as the look of the safety nets that has on it as well. And not only that, but also has functionable of the, the skid, which is really awesome. And overall, I give this a very huge 
thumbs up. It's awesome. I really love it. So, in my honest opinion, this is a really great kit. It's really fun and easy to build, especially for beginner Technic builders out there as it teaches you a lot about how the gear functions work and is great for shelf display as well. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video. Hope you guys give me a like if you enjoyed this. And also, if you're new here, it'd be very much appreciated if you would subscribe. And also, if you want to be notified to be the first one to watch my video, be sure to turn on the bell notifications as well. So, thank you all for watching, guys. Bye!